Hey guys, welcome back to that one life. You know, could be your life, could be my life, could be anybody's life. But everybody wants that one life. You know how it is. <laughs> Anyways, I was uh, working out in the garage today. I had to do uh, some lower control arms and stuff on a uh, minivan. I didn't, I didn't get anything recorded on it. Uh, maybe next time. <laughs> Anyways, um, span over here a little bit. This old girl right here zoom out this girl right here old casper I haven't really put any miles on casper in a while everything's i've been driving has been uh the, you know roxy or um the tundra so anyways i uh figured i would maybe do another video on casper here you know just checking the fluids making sure everything's okay looking everything over because you know maintenance is number one guys you know without maintenance your vehicle is pretty much useless so I figured I would uh, maybe bring you guys along for the ride, do a little recording, uh, do some in-car, in-truck vlogging, I guess you could call it. Anyways, yeah, see, I was telling you guys, it's just a, just a little baby 5.3, nothing crazy, just really, really, really super clean. Um, you know, that's, that's really all I, I can say about it. Just a good running, all around little truck. Like I said, in the near future, uh, she's gonna get, you know, cam and heads and some headers and, um, I don't know, I th I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with the stock 5.3 heads and just put some uh, uh, six liter valves in the, have six liter valves machined into the stock 5.3 heads, that way I can retain my compression. And it might give me a, a couple more horsepower because I don't know if I'm gonna, be uh, pro charging or turbocharging or anything like that. I think I'm just going to drive this truck around as a naturally aspirated little thumper. So, anyways, I'm um, going to make this short and sweet here. We're going to go for a little drive and maybe do a little talking. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Not much really going on today. I uh, said I worked in my sister in law's van, and uh, since I'm already hot and sweaty, because, you know, it's hot here. Like, I think it's 104 in my garage right now. It's pretty warm. So, uh, you guys have never seen the inside of Casper. So, real quick, before I switch out of this and get to driving, I'll show you the inside. So, as you see, manual door, windows, uh, manual locks, nothing real special. You know, it's <laughs> just basically a work truck in here. Nothing pretty crazy, you know, just just a work truck. It's got rubber matted floors, all that. So it's it's nothing real extravagant. It's just, you know, it's just a good old truck that means a lot to me. And you guys already know why, because I explained it to you before in the last video. But uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's nothing real crazy. I mean, um, the simpler you can have things as far as vehicles, without all the gidgets and gasmos, um, the longer they last. This truck here, she's got, I think 101,000 miles. So for an O2 Silverado, it's really low miles, but uh, it's still, you know, it's got 100,000 on it. So I would imagine I'm gonna try to squeeze probably another 100 out of it. So we'll see what happens. Anyways. What's going on guys? We're gonna go for a little drive here going to town and put some gas in Casper. <laughs> this poor old girl. I think I've been neglecting her. I've been driving Roxy every day. I already put like 4,000 miles on that car. I've only had it for not even two months. I'll tell you how much I love that car. So anyways, I figured it'd take you along for the ride here. And uh, Maybe do a little talking. I don't know. Um, yeah, I was telling you about car culture and stuff like that. So I see a lot of things out there, a lot of custom cars and things that are done that are just they're pretty neat, a lot of fun. Uh, the one thing that, that I've noticed a lot is there's a lot of people that just they don't they don't uh, they don't um, just 
love a car because of what it is. You know, they, they're not saying that they're fanboys, but you know, like me, I'm, I'm really not a Honda person. I'm really not into Hondas and, uh, you know, Mazdas, and BMWs, things like that. But there's a lot of people that are, but I give credit where credit is due, you know, like the car's clean and put together well and it's really a nice looking vehicle and there's there's no reason to hate on that vehicle there's no reason to to uh be that guy if you know what i mean like you could be respectful and that's what i see in the car community a lot when i'm out and about and i'm, I'm looking at stuff and i just i really urge people to just step back for a second and look at the vehicle and admire it for what it is you know um, even if it's not your cup of tea it's not what you want not what you like you still need to step back and look at the vehicle and say hey there's a lot of work that went into this thing it's a pretty neat car so that's all I'm saying <laughs> it's just one of those things where you gotta you just gotta give credit where credit is due you know not everybody likes a V8 not everybody likes a six cylinders some people like four cylinders and turbos they're fast uh, I got a I know a guy that's got a um, a Honda a little Civic with a K24 in it and I'll tell you right now there's not a vehicle I own that would even compete on any kind of level with that and it's a daily driven car so just because it has a four cylinder don't mean it's slow it don't mean it's you know it's everybody's got to have what they like but at the same time don't discourage people out in the car community building vehicles and showing vehicles because just as your vehicle is your pride and your joy you know that guy's honda or mazda or you know even a volvo whatever whatever it is that he's putting together that he that he enjoys or he likes or she she likes and enjoys whatever that might be is their pride and joy and you should just respect it um and what kind of brought this on with this video you know, I figure I'd have something to talk about while we're out driving. <laughs> but what kind of brought this on was, um, yeah, everything I own has a V8 except for my Harley. Okay, I, I get that. I'm a V8 guy. I like V8s. I like the sound. I like the feeling of them. I like the torque. That's cool. But at the same time, I could sit back and respect somebody else's vehicle for all the hard work that they put into it. And ultimately that's what I mean by when I say car culture. It isn't about the car brand or how fast it is or how slow it is. I, I have guys that I know guys that, that build their vehicles and they're for looks and there's a lot of people that pick on them and say things to them and this and that and it, it really isn't necessary. And, and why I bring this up is because the other day uh, I went to a small car meet and there was just a lot of hate that I saw. There's a lot of people that were talking a lot of bad things about other vehicles just because they don't like them and that's cool you, you you're entitled to say what you want but at the end of the day you did you just gotta you gotta understand that not everybody likes the same thing it's like a lot of people will watch this channel and they'll be like who's this uh irish looking ogre with a big beard that talking all the time you know they, they don't they're just not into it it's not their thing so but i still respect them and hey, uh, it's just the way it is. One of the main things in, in life today that we find, or I find, is a, just an utter lack of respect. And, and that does bring out in the car community. And I urge people just to be, you know, just to be cool with everybody. It doesn't matter what you're driving. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I don't care if you're on two wheels, three wheels, four wheels. I really don't care if you're out there and you're building it and you're doing your thing and you're having fun. Man, that's really all that matters. And nobody should should hate on that, you know. Um, I give people props all the time on vehicles that, yeah, they're not my forte. It's not what I like, but I like what they built because they built it. And that, that says a lot about the car culture, you know. That's the car culture. Uh, like I said over at Brandon's house when we were talking about the the old uh, 66 AC Cobra. So the deal with it about the car culture thing is, is it's that community that brings together people and friendships and stuff on a level that's unheard of. 
two people that don't know anything about each other whatsoever. I mean, at all. And they come together and become pretty good friends and hang out just because they like vehicles. Now, that's pretty cool. And at the same aspect, I ride a Harley. And I get guys all the time that I ride with that I don't know who they are, but they pull up next to me and then they want to ride along. Hey, more power to you, brother. I'm all about it. So, it's, it's just... I don't know, I'm not gonna drag it out like a dead horse. I just I just really urge people that that are out there uh, at car meets and car shows and things like that, I really urge you to just, you know, give credit where credit is due and respect every vehicle, even if it's not one that you like. You know, respect the work and the time that went into it because, you know, not every Honda is a rice burner. Uh, you know, not every BMW is some rich kid's car. Some people really put a lot of time and love into these things, and, and they should be respected for that. So, anyways, like I said, I'm not going to beat it like a dead horse. Um, you know, leave in the comments below what you guys have encountered. I'm just saying some things that I've seen along the way. You know, I've been in the car community since I was a teenager, and I'm going to be 41 years old this year, so I've, I've seen a lot. Good and bad and hate and love and whatever. Um... So leave in the comments below, you know, I mean, what do you guys drive? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, what are you guys into? What do you guys like? You know, I'm, I'm really interested in it. And I think that's how sh everybody should be. Because that's it's kind of what that one life is all about. That one life is all about the car culture, the scene, uh, meeting people, making friends, hanging out, and having a good time. Because you never know... You know, like tomorrow could be your last day here and you don't know. So you might as well make the best of it while you're here, right? Uh, everybody everybody has their own thing and their you know that everybody works and, and they try to they try to make you know the best of what they can and, and I respect everybody for that. Um, but anyways, a little bit about me, you know, we we talked a little bit about my tools that are in my garage. So I'm a former mechanic, uh, welder, fabricator. Uh, I've done auto body work. I've done uh, everything mechanical in a vehicle. Uh, twenty something years I've got into this. I think I think close to twenty two years off the top of my head is what I got actually into doing that kind of work. And it takes a toll on your body, guys. So that's kind of why my toolbox is in my garage. So I'm <laughs> I'm working as for management stuff now and not so much in the shop which gives me a little bit more time to work on things like Casper and you know, Roxy and show you guys everything so um, if there's anything that you guys ever want to know or you may be having a little bit of trouble with or this or that and I might be able to help y'all just uh, just leave a comment I do go in and I do read them uh, I know I'm kind of new and there's not a lot of comments and subscribers uh, but yeah, if you've got a question, an honest question about something that is bugging you or maybe you're having an issue with, I can do my best to help you as far as, uh, you know, diagnosing what's going on with your vehicle. So, anyways, yeah, if, if you guys need any, anything like that, just leave, leave a comment. Uh, another thing, I'm going to be doing some four-wheeling here pretty soon. I don't know, we've had a lot of wildfires and pretty crazy things going on. I think at one point in time here, we had 20 wildfires burning at once. Uh, a few of them were just mainly because of lightning strikes, but a few of them were man-made, which kind of upsets me a little. <laughs> Hi guys, leaving the gas station. She's happy again. You guys a little bit different view this time. Maybe like a first person, a first person kind of view. We'll see here. We'll take the long way home. I'll go down and around.
Well guys, I guess that kind of concludes this video today. <laughs> Just keep in mind what I said about the whole, you know, showing love to everybody that builds and, and uh, constructs and puts things together because like I said, even though it ain't your forte, you still got to give that love. You still got to give that respect, you know, and uh, appreciate you coming along for the ride here. Hope you enjoyed and uh, I got more coming. So thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.